Yo, what's up everyone? It's Dan. It's June. And Mary, and welcome to College Essentials. College Essentials is our back to school series that we're doing with McDonald's to hopefully give all of you guys a chance to check out college life and college advice all around the nation. So when Ben and I got to go on this tour, we met with a lot of students and faculty and we wanted to share their advice with you. So while on tour, June and I actually had a chance to follow along a group of students while they're getting ready for an upcoming exam. And we got thoughts directly from the faculty. We got to find out a lot of new information and these are things that actually June and I wish we had known back in college. Uh, because it's been, it's kind of difficult to be around students that are a lot smarter than you, but it was really interesting to hear. Uh, Mary, you're probably a lot smarter than we are, so please do not hate on any of the information yeah. that we give. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute, okay. So today's topic is about studying. Here are some of my favorite tips, especially for all you procrastinators. Testing yourself by reciting how to solve an equation out loud has proven to help learn and memorize course material better. Another way to memorize material is to write down everything you know about a topic several times so that it sticks in your head. I suggest that you don't study on your bed because you will fall asleep. <laughs> Time management is everything. Do not procrastinate. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm in Hawaii right now. I'm here with Mylon Yamamoto, who is a professor. Hello. We'll talk about studying today. Learn your study style. So some people learn either through oral communication or reading and writing. That's my style. Or maybe they learn through hands-on or maybe you're a visual learner. So figure out what your learning style is because that could affect your grades in the long term. We just made it to Hawaii. So we just got done doing sound check. Sounds pretty good. Looking forward to the show. Uh, again, I don't know uh, how anybody, at least for me right now, as somebody that gets easily distracted, I'm super distracted out here, just being here for like a couple of days. I don't know how students study out here. It's, uh, it's pretty incredible. Exactly, the weather's amazing. There's good food everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's good people everywhere. I don't would know. You, would you want to study in this environment? No, I definitely can't get any work done here. If I gave you a paper right now on American history, would you be able to learn it? Uh, probably in like two years. Oh yeah, okay. Two that seems appropriate. Yeah, I don't know how you guys do it. Hey, what's up, everyone? So as you know, I'm here with Tammy, Scott, and Cynthia. And so we've identified three specific ways that might be good for you guys to get your studying on. Okay, so number one down is finding a good study spot. And it's really important to have a good study space where you can actually sit down and focus for potentially long periods of time, mm -hmm. you know, for whatever you have to study for intense exams. So we're actually on our way to a close by cafe. So why is it important to identify a, a good place to study? So a lot of us, I know we use laptops to study, to take notes, and I really like places with free Wi-Fi and open outlets. Okay, so we made it to the cafe, and let's find a place to sit down. Okay, then, that goes to our tip number two, having a study goal and having a study plan. Now, you always want to have a study plan so you can stay focused and you can stay consistent in your study goals. And you want to have a study goals because you want to make sure you're following the right material at the right time. So you don't get distracted because we all have second jobs, we all have other priorities, and we always want to follow that structure so we can remain consistent and remain focused. Yes, it's very important to study on track. Um, if you are waiting or expecting a call, you can't have your phone on the table but face down. And if you have a goal, at <laughs> least if you do get distracted, as long as you meet that goal, you'll feel accomplished afterwards. Tip number two, take power naps. Pulling an all-nighter rarely helps test takers ace a test. I've tried it every quarter for finals. I've downed coffee and energy drinks and it never worked. It's also really super unhealthy. But since you guys will probably keep attempting to do all-nighters, make sure to take power naps. If you don't want to wake up groggy, make sure to nap for only 30 minutes or less. And don't keep pressing snooze. If you don't trust yourself, have a friend wake you up. That leads us to tip number three, which is to teach somebody what you're learning because the only way that you really know your material is if you can teach it to somebody else. So if you don't know anything... <laughs> My mind is a, a blank slate ready for the art that is your words and wisdom. Wow. My lady. That is very poetic, Dan. Yeah. It also tells you what you do know and what you don't know. Because as you're explaining it to someone, if you get stuck, it's like, oh, okay, I guess I don't really know this material that well. Yeah. Study snacks are always important. It is. You kind of take your mind off the studying. Alrighty, and the end of any good studying lesson is review. Tip number one, find a good study place. Tip number two, set a good goal. Tip number three, be able to teach someone. Tip number three, switch it up. Would you rather write that research paper or study for math right now? Write your paper then! You're wasting more time thinking about what you'd rather study for than knocking out another assignment. But that doesn't mean don't focus. 
Make sure to prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. So it was really cool meeting all these smart people from these universities. It was actually really intimidating. Uh, it was pretty difficult because I know that like as I'm getting older, I'm kind of forgetting a lot of things that I knew in college. So being around all of them was kind of like a very big reminder of all of these things I'm forgetting. But it's cool though, it's cool. We learned some new stuff. Uh, Mary, did you learn a lot? Oh, I already knew these tips. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Mary, for your contribution. <laughs> it's okay that you're smarter than we are. Mary constantly reminds us all the time how much smarter she is than we are, but it's fine. <laughs> it's cool. Thank you so much to McDonald's for making all of this happen. Make sure to check out rmhc.org for more information about scholarship opportunities and volunteering in your community. And make sure to stay tuned on mcdonaldsapa.com and ISATV for upcoming videos. Make sure to follow us on our social media and we'll see you guys soon. Later guys, we're gonna try to go get smarter for all of you, except for Mary. Except for Mary's me. not invited anymore. <laughs> we'll just have Joan and I actually close this video. All right, much better. Hi. Hey, how, how are, are you? Hi, I'm Dan. I'm Loretta, nice to, nice to meet you. This is our team. <laughs> Hi. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Would you guys like to get started on some volunteering? Yes. yes. All right, so we're gonna follow Loretta. She's, she knows the plan. Hey, what's up everyone? Today we have a very special treat. We are with the lovely. Hi, Elizabeth.